you, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem, and it's good to see you in the chair. Um, tonight, I'm going to actually have one positive and lots of things that are just terrifying. So let's have some fun with some math. Um, Mr. Speaker Pro Tem, we often start with this board just because it helps everyone sort of visualize what we're talking about. And we're going to fixate. A couple weeks ago, I actually beat up on some of the Republican ideas in regards to where the debt was coming from. Tonight, I'm going to beat up on some of my brothers and sisters on the left on tax proposals and how little they actually do. But first, let's get an understanding of how bad, how difficult, how terrifying. If you are not terrified right now on what's going on with U.S. debt, you don't own a calculator. So look, this, uh, I've used this board for years. It's actually the 22 board, but the concept is real simple. You see this blue? You see the green? That's all we vote on. This wedge right here, that's all we get to vote on. That's what we call discretionary. The red is mandatory. That's Medicare, that's Medicaid, that's Social Security. Those are the things that are on a formula. You get those because you worked a certain number of quarters. You get those because you turned a certain age. You're part of a certain tribal group. Or um, you fall below a certain income. These are formula driven. This wedge over here, defense and non-defense discretionary, when we were here a couple weeks ago, our math said every dime of that discretionary, defense included, was going to be on borrowed money this year. Um, we, the Supreme Court made its ruling in regards to student loan debt. That backs off two, three hundred billion dollars of spending this year. We're having to redo the interest calculations. Because if you've all watched what happened in interest over the last 10 days, and then there's the discussion of what we call paying back the extraordinary measures. When we were having the battle over the debt ceiling, one of the ways they kept the government running is they borrowed from all sorts of trust funds. Well, now they have to sell lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of debt. That's actually how you saw the thing where we borrowed a trillion dollars in like a week. That was actually selling bonds to functionally pay back those extraordinary measures. And I'm going to show some charts on that. But those bonds are now at the much higher interest rates. Haven't had the time to actually do those calculations. So the good news I'm going to show on a chart is we may not borrow 1.8 trillion this year. It could be 1.5, 1.6. I'm a little more um, dour. I think it's going to be closer to 1.7, but we haven't done all that. But the point of the matter is, give or take a couple hundred billion dollars, all discretionary is pretty much borrowed this year. Think about that. So if you're part of the brain trust that walks in, this is me beating up on, on myself and some of my friends, you walk in and say, we can balance the budget by getting rid of foreign aid. A couple weeks ago, I showed the chart that's like 12 days of borrowing. The last 12 months, anyone want to guess? Let's play a game. In your head right now, last 12 months, how much have we been borrowing per second? What's the burn rate? What's the borrowing rate last 12 months? Not the fiscal year, the last running calendar 12 months. What have we been borrowing per second? If you said $63,000 a second in your head, you're really good at math. Because in the last 12 months, we've borrowed $2 trillion. It's over $63,000 every second. The delusion that debt doesn't matter, maybe it doesn't matter until it does. And when it does, it's the poor, it's the working middle class that are going to get their heads kicked in. It is immoral what's going on here. In what is it, nine years when the Social Security Trust Fund is empty, and I'm gonna show the trust funds in a little bit, and grandma takes a 25% cut in her Social Security check, and we double senior poverty. That's moral? But once again, you've heard me gripe about that when the president stood behind that podium and made it toxic to have an honest conversation of the trust funds being empty. Remember, the Social Security Trust Fund will be empty this 10-year window. The transportation, the Highway Transportation Trust Fund is empty in just a couple more years. The Medicare 
trust fund is empty. How many times today did you see people get behind these microphones and talk about the math? 